Hello, um, I'm Gareth A. Hopkins, this is my channel. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but for the moment I thought that what would be reasonably interesting way to start off is to follow progress as I try and work up a, a page of art which I've been asked to do for an anthology. Um, I think in I've already taped that, so uh, through the magic of editing, this is the end of the process, and then at the start of the video and at the end of the video I'll come back um, and and say what happened so uh, yeah uh, let's let's watch that happen so I'm gonna do a drawings demonstration of um, a page that I promised I'd do a long time ago and just never got around to doing it so uh, a little while ago I was invited by Carter Kaplan uh, I assume that's his real name. Could be a pseudonym. It might. Uh, you never know at the moment in in the uh, this particular field. So um, he'd asked me to do a, um, a submission to an anthology he does called Emanations. Um, it's easily searchable on um, Google and Amazon and places like that. Um, and so. Uh, after a little bit of mucking about with ideas, I, I came up with this idea, this, um, a six-page strip called Bullwise. Um, these are the unlettered pages, um, or some of them, so you get an idea of what it's going to look like. Some of these are actually in there, some of them not. This is just a work, I didn't do anything with it. Um, but this one probably made it in, and that one made it in rather than that one. But that one looks nice, so I've kept it, and yeah, so that's what the comment used to look like. Um, Carter asked me a long time ago to do a sort of um, like leader page. Um, there's a title page for it, which and I just never got around to it. But I've been doing these um, daily doodle things the past month or so. And he saw this one and said that it would make a good header, a good title page. Um, and which I agree with, but it's in a notebook. It's going to be difficult to scan and get a shadow on it. Um, it's got stuff on there that I don't want, and I'd like to do something fresh uh, and that I can just keep. And so what I want to do is work up a new one of these, but using this colour scheme from the previous images. Right, um, I'm running out of time. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, these are the, this is the first of these videos I've done which hasn't been live, so... I want to try and keep it a bit better. The piece of paper that I'm using to start this, it's going to be a two-stage process at least, is um, my son's writing homework. I, he didn't need to print this out, he just did. And so uh, if it's not been actually used for schoolwork, I've kept it for drawing material. And right on the back, it's, um, it's actually a writing brief for a thing about old Deuteronomy. So, um, and because the actual comic itself is a bit of a poem I thought it was quite funny to use that what I'm going to start with let's just check that this pen's got ink in it it doesn't so we'll use a different one I'm going to start by writing the title and my name um, I'm going to work over the top of those things but it's nice to have them just there and also I'm going to write them in brush pen they'll probably look rubbish knowing me so but um I'll position them where I sort of want them. And if they if they are rubbish, then I'll not fret too much about it because uh, I'm just going to work over the top of this. So I'm remembering how to spell my name. Okay, so hopefully that will look okay. Right, so um, one of the main features of the pages I did before was a purple colour, which I got from um, a parallel pen, the ink cartridge of which I haven't got anymore. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to fake purple. Obviously, this isn't fake. This is a bloody purple highlighter pen, but and it's about to run out. Of course, it is perfect. Um, but I can't use the same colour, exactly the same colour palette as I used before. Uh, there's a few things which might help me along the way, or might not, depending on whether it works. Um, is that 
the next stage of this is to scan it in because this is once I finish with this, it's going to be really crinkly and lumpy. This this stage, I'm going to uh, photocopy it and then do that circular style that Carter liked on top of it. So and start off with a bit of purple highlighter as a base, and also so this is a slightly pastely highlight. It's not as bold. Uh, actually, looks better on screen. I can see my screen. It looks better on screen than it does in person. So. Um, the final page needs to be A5 or A5-ish, so I'm working it up slightly larger so that it'll look better once it's been scanned in. So I've got some purple down. Now I want to get some pink down. So I found some um, these Crayola uh, super tips around the house, and they are excellent. I love them so much. They're, they're not watertight at all, um, which for my purposes makes them good. I'm just going to stick some of this down. And, and the, the colour goes down really easily, um, which is good because I can work fast that way. So put some of that down. Put some of the... Oh, my camera stand put some of this pink in now once this is done this I don't know if this looks good or not hopefully it doesn't look too terrible working really quickly because there's a number of reasons why uh, and I'll put some of this highlighter because it's just excellent <laughs> I love this pink highlighter so much when you mix it with these purples and, and pinks and reds and stuff it just looks gross uh, when it scans it will it will fade out a lot Okay, so uh, I would like to have got more coverage actually on the paper and this pen's running out. So let me just jump to another one. And also, I've got a red super tip. It's all bloody and horrible. Mix that in. Now, make sure it's balanced. Get some more of this colour in. I'm not gonna... Okay, so what I'm going to do now, this is the experiment. I haven't done this before, so hopefully it will work. Ugh. Right, uh, this centre bit feels a bit empty. Um, just gonna try and colour it in a bit, give it some something. That's better. Uh, up here a bit as well. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is muck about. And so I got the some acrylic ink. I've got a red one, and I've got a white one. And if I was a proper person who knew what they were doing, I would brush this on. But I'm going to whack it down and it's going to be really soggy and wet. And it might not dry for ages, but I'm going to put this down. And also I've got the dregs of a bottle of this white one. And I put all of this on. Well, maybe not all of it. We'll see how we go. But rather than use a pipette, which will be mostly empty... Let's just dribble that on. Okay, so that's already working. Good. And now what I'm going to do is draw through that with a brush pen, which hopefully has some ink in it. And yeah, let's see what happens here. So it's going to mix in and create grey, which you'd expect. But I'm hoping that there'll be patches where the red is really brilliant and gross because that's the idea 
um, and also there's white. If you if when it's just like liquid on the page like that, it does look um, looks wrong. Okay, let's brush this in a bit, and um, hopefully, what's going to happen is that the colours I've put down already will start interacting with the the wetness of this paint. Um, yep, yeah, it's definitely gross. It is, however, obscuring a bit more of the purple than I'd like. Let's fill in this area down here. And as you can see, as the ink runs into the brush, it reverts to black again, uh, which is what I wanted. Okay, right, this is really, really, you can see that there was almost no point in me writing anything on here because that's gone. Let's take some of this white and put it somewhere else. And, oh, Jesus. Uh, Looking, yeah, I mean, this is going to take a year to dry. <laughs> um, so I need to thin it out a bit, but... That was me kicking the camera stand. Um, let's drag this into place. It looks, well, not this too dissimilar from what I hoped it would look like, to be honest. Now, this is clearly not the way that you're supposed to use these pens. It's supposed to be much more considered and zen-like, but it serves a purpose, right? Let's um, try and write that back in, see what happens. Well, it's not great. Let's keep going until we've got this full. that looking it looks gross as hell it looks like a murder um, which is fine I think um, so let's let this dry before I overdo it so I want to leave some of these purple areas um, free but I also need to clean this brush off so let's get the ink running back through it that's the sort of how you know the brush is clean once it's gone black again um, which means that at the end of every one of these processes is where you get the blackest areas Pudgy it this up. Uh, okay. And I quite like that brushing quality. Okay, so I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. I'm gonna leave it as it is and I will come back to it later.
Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, that's going to dry nicely. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to do any more. Let's just clean my brush off on that. Right. Okay. So that is going to dry. And I will come back to it later. Right, so um, I uh, it's been five minutes, five, ten minutes, and I'm incredibly patient. So what I'm going to try and do is blot some of this ink off. <laughs> I mean, uh, as I've been looking at it, it looks too red to me now. Um, so I'm going to blot it with some more of my son's homework. This one's got uh, maths calculations on it. And on the back, it's got the lyrics to Streets of London. Yeah which is some folk song. Uh, so uh, I'm not going to do it on that because copyright and stuff, but uh, right, I'm going to stick this on here. Yeah, you can see it, so you might be able to see it soaking through the paper. Uh, uh, I don't know what's going to happen when I peel this back, but it will dry faster, whatever it is. Okay, that is actually much better, I think. Right, so I've got two murders now. Um, I've got this one. So this area was very, it was a big puddle of red. Uh, and that was a bit that I was most worried about. And now it's less, it's, yeah, it, it's evened out a bit. And what I've also got now is this, uh, which looks really cool. Um, and I'll have to figure out something to do with this as well. Um, but yeah, now I've got to leave them both to dry. <clears throat> Right, okay, so I let it dry, as you can see it's got a bit crinkly, and then I photocopied it. So I've got a photocopied version to work on top of. Um, I think at the moment, if I start it, it is very red, more red than I probably wanted it to be. Um, and it looks it looks all right in itself, but it's not what I wanted it. So I'm going to have to work over the top of it in white for a while, um, just to lighten it up a bit. And then, um, but at the same time, I want to sort of, because uh, this looks like a spine to me, and maybe some sort of bone. This isn't what I set out to do, but um, just play what you got dealt, I guess. What's that look like? Let's cross over that because I can go back over it in a minute. Uh, now it looks sort of like a weird bird thing. Um, mash this pen in. Oh, I know what might work. I know it's actually really going to work. Right, how much of this I've got left? So, I've got lots of this red ink. And if I pour white ink on top of it here, I'm going to use what's left in there. And then use a white pen to sort of move this about. Because I don't want to... I want either this side to be faded enough to work with, or... I want the ink to bleed through the the print ink onto the back of it and then I can photocopy the back and that will actually give me, I think that will give me the effect that I want even though it wasn't intentional. Well, it's not, well, it's intentional now, it wasn't intentional when I set out to do it, when I started this process. Let's keep moving this about. And again, this is going to take bloody ages to dry. Um, and you know, this isn't an ideal way to work. It, it's quite um, resource intensive. Because I've just used up quite a lot of uh, acrylic ink here. And it's actually not where I wanted to use it. And the other thing that's happening is that 
well, there's two things. One is that because I'm using this, it's sort of drawing ink and it, drawing in the ink and is giving. You can sort of see the lines in it. But the other thing is that it's letting off a really weird smell. <laughs> um, it's sort of an inky smell, which is I'm actually getting. And I'm going to leave. Do I want to leave the edges? Yeah, but I, I want this to be flatter somehow. How can I do that? Because you can see where I've drawn in it. Um, unless I go back and sketch out what was there before and then re rewrite the title. No, that's a bit too big. So, uh, how do I flatten this out? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm having a breakdown. So, on this side of the page, the pink has really mixed with the red printer ink. Which looks cool. Um, and now I'm gonna, what am I gonna, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do, just, Draw into it with the brush, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing this now. Just to keep it going, keep it wet for a while so that it will soak through. Uh, if it cuts the paper, then well, let's cut the paper. And I'm sort of, I hadn't, I've just realized I'm doing it, but I'm focusing all my energy in this area here because this is where that circle will be appearing in the final image. Because I know what the final image needs to look like, I just need to know how to get to it. Not what I'm going to do. Am I going to do it? <laughs> I'm really tempted to drop some um, red into this mess. Uh, let's see what's looking on the back. Yeah, see? Uh, you can't see. I mean, it, it looks meaty. <laughs> it looks... Uh, I'm not always... <laughs> oh, what a mess. Right, I need to clean this brush off because uh, I've ruined it. So I'll leave this to dry over here. I'll clean the brush off here. And I'll just let this uh, get the ink going again. Sort of work the reservoir. Come on. Try to bring this pen back to life. Because although they're hardy, near indestructible brushes, you don't want to be too rough with them, right? <sighs> okay, so it is, it's kind of black now, just needs some time to rest.
So I've just sort of been absentmindedly working on this. This looks like an eye. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's totally um, unintentional. And if you were to uh, sort of let your mind relax a bit, it's got a sort of a monster-ish shape to it. Um, it's totally unintentional. Didn't mean to do that. But, I mean, it's quite a nice page. It's quite a nice image. Uh, what can I do to finish it off? Not a lot. And it's got all these, like, kids maths around it. <laughs> well, there you go. That's... That's his own thing now. So, uh, yeah. That's where I blotted the uh, paint before. Uh, what I'm going to do now... Uh, I've... Don't know when to stop is and <laughs> blot this onto it. So just keep blotting the pages onto each other. But uh, this is the backside of the, the one that I just went crazy with the white paint on. And it looks... I mean... That's all right. That's I quite <laughs> I quite like that. I'm just looking at it again. That could be its own thing. Uh, yeah. So uh, right, let me stop the video and I'll edit him back in a blah, blah, blah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure. Right. So it took absolutely bloody ages, but this did dry in the end. And uh, as I showed, it bled through on the back. So that, yep, and then this accidental thing that I thought was really cool, that's um, that's dry now as well. So I took that downstairs to the printer and ran off copies of that, and that, and that. So now the idea is to, um, obviously, this bit, which is in the original composition, that's long gone. I don't know where that is anymore. So I have to work out if there's a way to build that back in. Um, so what I'm going to do now is to build that circular shape in that I mentioned earlier. This thing. Um, it didn't take very long to do, but it is boring to watch. So I'll start it off and then um, through the magic of editing, I'll show what it looks like partway through. Um, yeah, so uh, what pen should I use for this one? So on those ones, I use a really small gauge brush. But... Um, I want this to be quicker to be honest. So I'm using uh I'll start off using a micron 08 and see how we go. And um right. So just start off the little dot and then I'm just gonna this is what I mean by it's boring. Just do little little lines either side, going round and round and round. And what makes it look jagged is that it's instead of being circles, it's these like little sets of parallel lines. So, so that I can experiment with which one, which of the images works best with this. Um, it's going to take <laughs> it's going to take ages. So that's where I got to so far. Uh, and I've got to do that across this whole thing and that one if it doesn't look very good and maybe this one, at least two. Um, so I'll check back in in a minute. Okay, so here we are, 10-15 uh, minutes in. Uh, so I'm just going to keep on drawing and it's just putting lines down and going round and round and round and trying to vary batches of little lines and maybe keeping them at, so it's e what's easy is to just go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you just get, get layers going around and this effect works better if it's not layered and it's not um, like circular as such. So uh, you make sets of lines which are slightly uh, thinner, some which are a lot longer and taller and just sort of layer them into each other. 
So I'm not going to labour this point too much. I'm just going to keep going. And as I've been going around with this pen, I've been thinking maybe with the other one, I'll try. A, I'll maybe try the brush pen because <laughs> it'll be much faster. Um, uh, we'll see. Okay, a bit more time's passed. Uh, one thing that I do with these. I've only done a couple of them, is that every now and again I'll cross the line. It's not the whole way through, just a little bit here and there just to make the, the shape more jagged. Uh, it looks all right. Um, I've almost done the entire sheet um, and I'll have to figure out a way. I'll probably do it uh, rather than draw straight on this. I'll probably do it in um, Photoshop or something, put the, the text on. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's done. Um, honestly, couldn't tell you how long it took. Not very, not too long, actually. Uh, Went pretty quickly through it. Um, I, it wasn't a very exciting process. Um, so uh, for this one, I'm not going to do this one. I like this enough that I might just try and use that as it is uh, without all the stuff over it. Um, it's just something I really like about that. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to use a brush pen. Uh, and go a bit quicker. It makes a, a, I did it in my sketchbook. And it makes a slightly bigger, looser shape. Uh, and I'm going to start uh, rather than go sort of from this area out for this one. I'm going to go from up here and through. Uh, of this one, I'm, I'm going to use the circles like this because it's just, I don't know if it'll work on it. I mean, it'll look all right, but whether or not it looks right, I'm not sure. Yeah, I won't know. Um, and I might have to um, put some, um, let me move my arm. I'll put some other colours down on top of it as well. So like this, this is, I mean, it looks gross, but, which is part of the point. But it might not be enough. Might need to mess about with it a bit more. Okay. Right, so I've done this. It, uh, it was very quick, five minutes or so, maybe less. And it's all right. It, it's, um, compared to that, it's nowhere near as intense. Um, this one, I might go through and put some colors in. So I'll tell you what, that's what the next thing I'll do. Um, just little bits, not, I'm not gonna go crazy. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll have seen me start, well, the start of this video. It seems like a long time ago now. Um, this was a bad idea. <laughs> um, right, I'm hoping, right, so I'm gonna put these colors in. And when I scan it, I'm hoping it, they'll soften a little bit. Wolf is a bad idea. But I'm going with the fluorescent pink. Uh, the reason I'm going with fluorescent pink, uh, having complained that it looks terrible, is that uh, it actually scan, it, it softens out really nicely once you've once you've CMYK'd it. Um, well, if that's that. Mm, should have put the highlighter in. Should have played it safe and scanned it first. Um, I'm gonna just put touches of color in here. Just attached to the color that's already there. Rather than sections of new colour. There we 
bit out there to tighten a little bit. Mm. And maybe a bit of this as well. Well, that looks better now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to scan these and um, map about and see what happens. Okay, so we're now at the point where I have finished and um, I haven't scanned anything in yet because um, I just want to get the video sorted and um, watching me Photoshop something isn't interesting at all. Um, and I'm sure you'll get a chance to see the final image, whichever one I choose. So just in summary of what I did, in order to get one page of art with a title on it, that's all I needed, a title page, I've produced this horror show. This quite cool, weird thing. That was back, and that was just from um, print, like, Use, using this page to dry out other pages and then sort of and cleaning my brush on it and getting carried away. This, which is just a crispy sheet of white paper with some, which has bled through a lot. Uh, a photocopy of the page that I liked, which I decided not to draw on, but because um, I've got the original, this, is, this will probably go into the pile of stuff that I'm going to work on. And then the two contenders for the final image. So I've got this really tight, tight one, and then this slightly looser one. Uh, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. So hopefully um, I'll have been able to edit this video into something watchable. And um, yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions of other things you'd like me to do on the channel or things you'd like me to talk about, questions you'd like me to answer, um, hopefully if I've got a reputation for anything in comics if it's not reliability and speed then it's at least honesty uh, about how I go about making things and um, or if it's not let's make that happen I'll, I'll answer any questions you've got um, right that's it for now oh and please like and subscribe and comment and um, yeah, cheers. See you around.